As we celebrate this year's International Women's Day under the theme Balance for Better, it scares the black out of me to imagine what will happen on the day that our security forces turn against the people. We saw it during Operation Honkrans, where many reported that they had been abused by officers, being forced to do push-ups and being physically assaulted for questioning them. Well, it's still happening. Candy Aaron is still suffering emotional and physical wounds after an assault by police officers who found them enjoying the view from a client Vintook Hill on Saturday night. My cousin and I were standing on, like on, the, um, on the far right of the hill, yeah? away from the crowd. There are other cars there as well. I guess it's a, it's a famous place. Everybody goes there, as I said. And uh, these police guys show up. And I init initially, I didn't get a look at the car, I, a good look at the car, you know. I just see a police officer on the other side basically comes out and I see him slap one, one guy and another police officer. She pours, basically I just see drinks being poured on people and, and we're standing over there like, what is going on? you know and so you know they're like stay where you are uh hold uh, stay where you are i think uh don't move or something like that and i see some of the guys having their hands up in the air you know and they and they then put them in a circle and like set them down there and he goes around and it's mostly this one uh, black police office guy officer guy and with the other bamboo lady i think who's basically behind him and whatever he does she's always like after him you know so he then calls the lady, he's like, yeah, all of you do push-ups. And again, we're just standing there. And I'm like, at this point, I'm in shock because I saw him beat up this guy now, you know, and this guys have their hands up, this lady's pouring drinks, and it's just, it's an aggressive situation. So these girls, they do their push-ups. And so then he walks over to us, my cousin and I, and my cousin, and she, we're standing, and he comes over to us and he's like, yeah, you guys also do push-ups. And I'm standing there, I'm like, but sir, what did we do? I'm scared of what I just saw. And then he points a finger at me. It's like, you're answering me. You, you, you don't want to do push-ups, I'll deal with you. His words. You don't want, you're, you're answering me, you don't want to do push-ups, I'll deal with you. Yeah? Of which I said, but sir, I'm just asking, what did we do? You know? And then immediately when I just said, what did we do? And then he just slaps me across my face. And I'm obviously in shock. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And obviously, I start crying, you know. And he's like, yeah, you're answering me. You're going to, and I'll put you in jail tonight. You're going to sleep in jail tonight. Like, and then he turns to my cousin, and he's like, uh, you, you're not going to do push-ups. And my cousin asks him, are you going to slap me if I don't do push-ups? You know, of, in the background, I am, like, telling him, you are not, you are not allowed to hit anybody. He's like, I'll deal with you. You'll sleep in jail. Basically, he just kept telling me this. Candy is clearly still traumatized by the events of that night, as are the many Namibians who have had these encounters with security forces. It, to be honest, it takes a lot away from you, you know, because even I contemplated putting it on Facebook because then I thought, in my mind, I'm thinking, this is my face that's going to be on Facebook. What if he sees it and comes after me? Because we already know the violence that's going on in Namibia. We are all these killings, people killing just ruthlessly. This man last week who killed the lady just over a contract. So I was fearful, to be honest, like my face is gonna be out there. But then I thought, that means he's silencing me. You know, he's silencing me. I don't know how to really explain. That means, exactly. So that's why I actually did that. I put my face out there and I wrote my story as is, you know. He can come give, because, you know, there are people like, oh, well, it's just a one-sided story. Then let him come. Let him explain himself why he had to touch me. Uh, there was a comment. One of the girls said, yeah, you were probably drunk. And, you know, and I, and I didn't answer her. But the thing is, whether somebody's drunk or not, a police officer is still not allowed to put his hands on you. He's not allowed to do that. And so, but it's hard to sleep to be honest, because you keep replaying it in your mind, because had it been a woman, maybe, I don't know if it makes it, it's not to say it makes it better, but this is a man, twice my size, who comes and exercises power over me. You know, I, I, was, not, I was not armed, I did not disrespect him in any way, a simple question, and that's why it's mind-boggling for me too. I wrote to Nampal's Inspector General Sebastian Daitunga and put it to him that there is in fact an increase in incidents of police brutality. He wrote back, 
As for the concerns related to the conduct and actions of the members of the Namibian Police Force, I wish to place on record that all members of the Namibian Police Force are trained to act with the necessary professionalism and respect for human rights. The rule of law is at the centre of our law enforcement efforts and the Namibian Police Force does not condone acts of police brutality. Any member of the force who fails to comply with these basic tenets must and will be held accountable, either through criminal or departmental action. Every regional police structure across the country has a unit called the International Investigation Directorate, IID, dealing mainly with complaints against police officers. This office investigates both criminal and departmental complaints against police officers. Any person who is aggrieved by the conduct of a police officer should register these complaints at the nearest police station and these cases will be referred to the IID or unit to conduct the necessary investigations. That is exactly what Candy decided to do. I opened up a case against a police officer on Sunday. He had assaulted huh? me on Saturday uh, morning. I say, are you at Windhoek Police Station? I am not at Windhoek Police Station. No, I'm at home. Oh. You are at home, ne? Eh? Yes. Okay. Are you having uh, your witnesses? In my list of questions on police brutality, I asked the Inspector General, Sebastian Leitunga, just how many of the officers that went rogue during Operation Hornkrantz have been held accountable for their actions since January last year. And he responded saying, With regard to the statistics of actions taken against police officers since last year January, proceedings against members are still ongoing and therefore we cannot provide you with outcomes.